I don't want the New York Knicks winning in South Beach. You better take okay. it whenever you can get it. I want that. I want them to come back, back to the door. However you can get it. I want New York to come back to the door. Fifty years. You see these blue skies? <laughs> I'm go with ahead, y'all. Don't be mad. Seven. Let's go. Reverend Stephen A. Let's go. <laughs> take it away. <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome to the corner of 33rd and 7th Avenue in New York City, a city that loves basketball. Basketball is ubiquitous. It is everywhere and everything to this fan base. From 155th at Rucker Park, well, they all know that a familiar rival is back in town, the Miami Heat. But Jalen Brunson poised and ready to protect home court here in New York. Let's take a look at the brackets in the Eastern Conference. Game one, meanwhile, between Philadelphia and Boston taking place on Monday in the East. Hello, everybody. I'm Mark Jones, courtside, along with Doris Burke, Cassidy Hubbard, joining us in just a bit. Doris, the place is popping. And when you look at the fan base here in New York, they are in love with their Knicks, in love with the game, and they've come once again to renew their marriage vows. All across the spectrum, Doris, Madison Square Garden remains a very unique basketball experience. There's a reason the biggest stars in the NBA want their signature moment in this building, and it matters not whether you are one of the city's most famous residents, or perhaps you're just an iconic Knicks fan, or maybe it's just a multi-generational fan. When the Knicks are good, the city is on fire, and they've got a new star that they're rooting for, and he is driving the Knicks to their success. The acquisition of point guard Mr. Jalen Brunson, it's about will and and skill and craftiness and guile and Jalen Brunson was supremely comfortable against that Cleveland team he lives in the paint despite that size mark and his playmaking ability crucial as well a lot of big news around the Knicks Cassidy has more yeah Mark well they will be without their all-star as Julius Randle was ruled out for game one this decision coming from both Julius and the medical staff after he went through a workout around 10 20 this morning he was moving pretty close to full speed with a brace on that injured left ankle he did some cutting and sprints it lasts about 35 minutes and Tim told us it's part of the current ramp up phase he's going through with the hopes of returning for game two just a reminder this is the same ankle he hurt towards the end of the season where he missed five games Obi Toppin will be making his first playoff start in his place Mark DB all right let's talk about the Miami Heat they sent a seismic shock throughout the NBA and the playoffs in vanquishing the number one seed, the Milwaukee Bucks, who had the best record in the regular season. And as we take a look at today's winning ingredients delivered by Chipotle, Jimmy Butler was a imperious scorer. Well, you see the 98 points he scored in the final two games, putting the number one seed to rest. But let's consider over the five games, he also averaged 37. And there's a competitive spirit and toughness that brings out the best in Jimmy. His postseason numbers are better than his regular season numbers. And if there's a big moment to be met, whether it's from the perimeter or getting to the cup, it doesn't matter. This play was supposed to be for somebody else. Jimmy said, that's got my number written all over it, and he delivers in a big way. Well, what we have today is a rivalry renewed with both fan bases having feelings of enmity and a little bit of animosity mixed in as well. It'll take you back to the 90s and heartbreak. We'll have the latest chapter in a moment. This presentation of the NBA playoffs continues after this message and a word from our ABC stations. The Google Pixel NBA Conference semifinals on ABC are presented by Chipotle. Real ingredients, real flavor. Chipotle, for real. And Google Pixel, the official fan phone of the NBA. The Miami Heat advance to the second round. And New York, here we come. Yesterday, not forgotten. It's always good for the league when there's a Heat Knicks playoff series. And Fisk is flying at the other end. An eight over a number one. This one's going to get really ugly. For the third straight season, New York has eliminated Miami. 
the tradition of the Knicks, what it means not only to the city, but it resonates with all our fans. This is our glory. (laughs) This place is unreal. Let's go, Knicks! Let's go! This is our journey. This is the Jimmy everybody always waits for at the end of the year. He's in a groove right now. Whatever it takes to win, it could be 40, it could be 50. I got to be able to do it all. We were meant for this. We're here and all that stuff we went through is finally paying off. Welcome everyone to the NBA playoffs presented by Google Pixel. It's the conference semifinals delivered by Chipotle. Here from New York City in Madison Square Garden, the cradle of basketball, where another sellout crowd has descended upon the world's most famous arena to watch their beloved Knicks take on one of their most heated rivals, the Miami Heat. Here's a look at the starting lineups brought to you by Modelo. Gabe Vincent, Max Struess, Jimmy Butler, Kevin Love, and Bam Adebayo, the starting five for the Miami Heat, coming in as the number eight seed. And here's a look at the starters for New York. Without Julius Randle, it'll look like this. Brunson and Hart in the backcourt. R.J. Barrett, O.B. Toppin gets the start. And Mitchell Robinson at the five in the middle for the New York Knicks. He has been so impactful on the offensive class for New York. These two rivals are extremely familiar with each other. For the Miami Heat, it's the third most played opponent in the postseason. That man right there, Pat Riley, president of the Heat, very familiar. He is part of the DNA of this rivalry on both sides of the ledger. He come in imbued with confidence off of a stunning five-game defeat, Doris, of the number one team in the NBA during the regular season. And they don't plan on stopping now. This is, this is a Miami Heat team, Mark, that had the second most missed games by their players in the NBA. They are down Tyler Hero, obviously hand injury preventing him from marching on in the playoffs more onus on bam more onus on jimmy but it's a miami team that has found some shooting and some rhythm offensively all of a sudden and one of the big questions for the new york knicks coming into this series is the health and fitness of julius randall as cassidy reported earlier he will miss game one no word yet on game two but where does the extra offensive production come from well, they're going to miss Julius Randle in his scoring, obviously. Obi Toppin, who takes his place, they seem to play a little bit faster. Obviously, Obi's ability to sprint and transition put pressure on the rim. Obi Toppin making his sixth start of the season. As we get ready for the opening tip, Tony Brothers, Bill Kennedy, Tyler Ford are officials today, and Gabe Vincent will walk it into the front court for Miami. <laughs> 